Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to Construct Your Life. Grant, this is Austin Lenny here. How are you doing, everybody? What we're going to talk about today is mindset. What is it? What does it look like? What do I mean when I talk about it all the time? I found that a lot of real estate investors and a lot of just investors in general are very quick to read all the books about investing go to all the seminars, go to all the conferences. And you watch some of these guys two, three, four years, and they still haven't bought a deal. And unlike other aspects, let's say you're learning history or you're learning algebra, you know, you, 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 you have to learn. You have to learn that stuff in order to do it. And yes, you have to have a basic working knowledge of real estate investing or investing in general to execute on plans to get you a positive outcome. But you don't need to know everything. And I truly believe that mindset is the only thing that you truly need to have control of because with that, you can accomplish anything. And you learn by doing, you learn by getting in there. You're going to learn far more by getting into a flip or getting into a small multifamily deal or a big multifamily deal. But sitting on the sidelines and waiting for the time to be right is not going to get you anywhere. And yes, I want you to have a working knowledge, but how many Zoom calls do you need to be on every Wednesday night to to hear everything and their mother about uh, a multifamily deal, right? It's yes, it's beneficial, but it's not going to get you anything until the tenant in one A is really pissed off, or they you have to evict somebody, or the water gets shut off, or the water bill is not what you. I'm not saying walk into a deal and just walk in blindly and go, "Here's a million dollars, fuck off." But what I'm saying is, you can't know everything. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way in life. It doesn't work that way in investing. So, you know, I had a good buddy tell me, like, you can listen to all the real estate podcasts you want in the world. If you don't have a correct mindset, then that stuff's just filler. And it's the truth. Because what we're creating here is a mindset that allows you to tap into parts of yourself that have to understand that everything is possible. And so how do we do that, Austin? How does that happen? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to remove the stories that you tell yourself why it's not possible. Whether that be your dad, your mother, your brother, your sister, or what you think you are or were that create the obstacles in front of you that make you quit before you even get started. Okay, well, how do I do that? Will you... Write down what's true and what's not about who you are. And you have to truly ask yourself, who's saying these things that are going on in your head? I'm going to go out on a limb and say, you're saying them to yourself. Guys, I coach enough people to understand that everybody has the same problem, maybe in a different context, but it's all around the same thing. Well, I'm the black sheep in the family. Well, I'm not rich enough. Well, I can't do this. I'm not smart enough. This is what they think. Do they really think that? Or are you just answering the question for them and they're not even speaking? Because you're saying it to yourself. We would never talk to ourselves the way we talk to other people. But yet, we on a constant basis tell ourselves that we're not good enough. 
And that mindset is not going to get you anywhere. It's not. It's going to get you right where you've been for a long time, sitting on the sidelines. But when you break down the barriers of what you think or you think you can't do, that allows different space to open up that allows you to think in a different way. And another way to do this, to create that unstoppable mindset, is to do what Andy Forselli talks about in a power list. So create five things every day that you can do, not goals, five things that you can do every day that when you hit those things, you can take it to the next level or you're, 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 you're counting in the confidence that you have in yourself, right? So whether that be 30 minutes uh, in the gym, then 10 books, 10 pages we read in a book, learn something new, you know, take my, take my dog or my wife on a walk. We think that by getting a deal or like closing on a deal, that's the only way we can move forward. But what you should have been doing during the lockdown is working on yourself and giving yourself more weapons available to weaponize your tool belt so you can go out and execute. Because you can talk, we, I get this all the time. Airbnb deals, real estate deals come to me and they want to bang out seven scenarios. Well, what, I know, but what if this happens? What is this? Have you even made an offer yet? Well, no. Then what the fuck are we talking about? Because right now we're just playing a game of, I don't know. We're just guessing. So until we have something tangible to talk about, an actual offer or a situation where you closed on a property, we're really just talking about what if, coulda, shoulda, woulda, whatever. And that doesn't mean anything. You're wasting your time, everybody's time. When you break this down, it's really about execution. And you have to cultivate a mindset that sees obstacles as an opportunity to get better. I'm going to say that one more time. You have to create a mindset that sees obstacles as an opportunity to level up. The mindset that you're cultivating is a mindset, a perspective that allows you to see everything as a gift. You look at my life and you say, man, that must have been really rough that you were an alcoholic for 20 years. I say, congratulations to me. Because now I can go out and help millions of people or thousands of people and they help thousands of people because I went through all that. And that's the mind shift. That's the mind shift. Because I truly believe that there's nothing that I'm incapable of doing because I have cultivated a mindset that allows me to think that way and surrounded myself by people that think that as well. So we spend each day trying to talk about how we're going to do all great stuff instead of the other way. Well, I didn't get that deal. Well, I didn't get this. I didn't get that. Well, maybe you got it for, maybe you didn't get it for a reason. Because there's a bigger deal coming down the car. We're so quick to try to control our life. Like we have some sort of control over it. Please. You have control over what your daily actions are. You don't control other people. You don't control deals. You don't control the escrow falling through. You don't control the title company screwing up. But if we spiral and if we say, well, I know, but this should have happened. Why? You know, I shouldn't have spent so much money in my 20s because now I would have been farther ahead like you've already lost before you started everything that is happening to is happening to you for a reason and when you wake up with that mindset and understand that there's a stepping stone to everything you say man i really wish i would have got that job yeah but maybe you wouldn't have the opportunity to meet your spouse because you would have been at that job or maybe you wouldn't have had this it's all mindset. You have to cultivate this mindset that allows you to operate in the ups and downs of real estate and investing. And when you work on yourself so much that you see everything that happens to you as an opportunity to get better or get farther ahead, well, then you've won the game. Because whatever, thing, whatever goal you put in front of you, whatever thing that, whatever unit count or real estate deal, there's 
the, the, the goalpost is always going to move. So you must operate in a mindset that allows you to be able to conquer anything at all times because that's the game. That's how you win is that you're allowing yourself to think. But this is so much more important than just you. You're allowing your kids or your spouse or your friends to believe that anything's possible as well. We leave from the front. And so you have to be so firm in who you are. That's why I say that goals are great. They get you to where you're going. But core values is how you live your life through intention. And when you live your life in your core values, you can stand up in any storm, any market, any economic downturn, because you see opportunity at all times. And you have stopped reacting to emotion. This world lives on emotion way too much. Way too much. Well, I know, but I'm going to sell. Oh, my God. Uh, 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 what if this happens? What if that happens? What? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that all could happen. We don't know. But whatever comes my way, I'm going to figure it out. Tell me this, guys. How... Does somebody have go from no units to buying the 80 units? Because they're just like, man, I'm going to figure it out. All the things that you're dreaming up in your mind that could happen, most likely might happen. But have you never, I, I apologize if you have, but you've always figured your way out. You've always paid your bills. You've always fed yourself. So you're dreaming up these scenarios that allow you to never even get your foot out the door. But by working on yourself and being truthful with yourself and getting a coach or getting somebody in your corner or in your network that has this mindset, you can start cultivating this mindset that allows you to win no matter what storm. And so I'm asking you to pay attention to the mindset part of this more than the real estate side because that is the key that will unlock everything. Because when you cultivate a mindset that's unstoppable, you can operate in any storm or any market. And So I hope you got value out of this, guys, because it really is the key that unlocks everything. But you have to focus on it. You have to work on it. You have to build up the mindset. So make sure you share this with your friends. I hope you got some value out of this, guys, and we'll see you next time. I appreciate everybody listening. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.